Okay. Now! One, two, three. Glaze review! <laughs> they did it! Yes! <laughs> Hello you Dirty Potters, how are you guys today? Uh, today I am joined by Natasha and Lindsay M. Dillon. I'm sure you guys have already met them, considering that we did the Empty Bowls Dank video together. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below for you. You should probably see it. They've already seen like a little bit of it, and they're pretty excited to have it come out. But every year we do this thing called Empty Bowls, where a bunch of ceramic artists in the community make these bowls. We donate the bowls to the local food bank. The food bank sells them off. They take that money and they use it for uh, like homeless services or to feed the homeless or programs that would help people in your community who necessarily don't have food or homes, right? That's why it goes to like your local food bank service, right? But I kind of figured while they're here, we might as well play with some of the glazes that Amico sends me because uh, Amico <laughs> Senpai love us. But I also don't want to give you guys glazes that we haven't reviewed yet. I don't want to ruin the surprise for when I actually do bring out reviews later on. So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to grab some of the glazes that we've already reviewed, like the red, the blue, sienna speckle, the pink, stuff like that. And we're just going to try and make as many combinations as we can. Fortunately for us, we're also doing empty bowls right now. So we, behind the camera, there's like a stupid, even on the show, there's a stupid amount of bowls that we can kind of just do whatever with, and we're going to donate them to Empty Bowls anyway. So that is going to be our glaze review today. I hope that you guys have a fun time watching, and uh, I'm going to put their links down below if you want to follow them. Lindsay makes some good nerd work, and I'm not allowed to say on camera what she makes. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no! Oh, those! Yeah! Oh, I thought you were saying I make sex toys. I was like, no! Do you make sex toys? I, I mean, I've thought about it. All right. <laughs> I've never heard Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we have Deep Sienna Speckle, which I haven't reviewed yet, but it's pretty much Firebrick Red with some specks in it. Oh. We, of course, have Firebrick Red, and you can kind of tell that these are essentially the same yeah, glaze. Like, oh, look, They're pretty yeah. much the same base. And then we have the Marigold, of course, and then we also have the Smoke. So I'm pretty sure we can also use this Cherry Blossom Celadon, because we've already reviewed this on the channel. So let's mix these all together. I'm really excited to see what, like this red and yellow make and or maybe this like sienna speckle and cherry blossom and this one's kind of a wild card because it's super clear and dark at the same time and we're just gonna have you guys mix up as many glazes as you want <laughs> you guys get to play with the amicos yeah. <laughs> So just for the camera right now, you're glazing smoke with the cherry blossom. Yes. Right, and you're leaving like half of it unglazed. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be uh, overlapping. So this side is gonna be the gray, and the area in the middle is gonna be overlapped, so we can kind of see how they are. Uh, this is two brush coats. This is two brush coats on the outside. So the whole outside is gonna be cherry blossom, and then the inside is gonna have just a little bit of gray. Tight. And then Natasha, what are you what are you doing over here? I'm using Blue Lagoon. Is this a red body clay? This is a red body red clay. Body yeah, this clay. is redstone. Um, brushing on, but my first coat was a little thinner than I'd like it to be. So, so when I like to brush on glazes, I kind of just flood the brush, and I'm way too lazy to <laughs> uh, go about the pattern, even though it gives you a much more consistent result. 
Um, so I just load the shit up like real thick and then flood it over the piece and wait for it to soak in. Um, and then I'll do about like two coats of, two or three of like a thick load onto the piece. Two or three coats of what? Blue Lagoon! Well, this time is a, oh, thick, a thick what? A thick coat of Amico Blue Lagoon. Is oh, that what you're asking? A thick load, you said? God damn it, Donnie. <laughs> I said I like this brush. Where do you get this brush? That used to be uh, Yoshio Taylor's brush. <gasps> um, he gave me a set of brushes before I like exited his tutelage, I suppose. Tutelage. He he retired. Oh. Technically, he's a retired teacher now. But yeah, he he gave me like a set of Japanese brushes that he was like, these are good quality. They are fantastic. I love this. They're really good. And then Lindsay right now, what are you doing? I am glazing the inside of a bowl with, I think it's the fire brick. And I just poured a wee bit inside and then I'm just kind of carefully, um, kind of having it go along the outside and then pour it back in, toss yeah. the rest back in. That's what yeah. I do too. So for all those people on the channel who are like, oh, these are brushing glazes, not dipping glazes, you're using them wrong. They work both ways. in the inside of this one is the fire brick so I'm gonna do fire brick on the inside I got the marigold on the I can't believe you've done this outside and oh no oh, <laughs> eh, eh, it's, oh okay. no! it's okay I saved it <laughs> yeah, you did. these low quality do oh you still used it yeah oh, no, what a champ oh, I got this man oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they're all done glazing now. Lindsay, what do you have? All right, so first one I have is the smoke on the outside, marigold on the inside with uh, the velvet underglaze, uh, underglaze dripping on the inside. Okay. So the next one that I have is the cherry blossom on the outside, cherry blossom on the inside, smoke on the inside, and then smoke overlapping the cherry blossom in the middle, and then some more. Trailing. So those are separate and then like the very the middle of the thicker darker part here is a combination of the cherry blossom and the smoke Yeah, and then that's just like flavor text. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's awesome. And those are the two that you have? Uh, I have one more This is marigold on the outside and then on the inside I did a coat of um, The deep fire brick okay. and then marigold but two brushed on layers on the outside and then some more flavor text Tight. <laughs> okay, and Natasha, what did you have? I have a combo of Blue Lagoon and Marigold. So I brush and poured and kind of blew on it to see how it'll come out. And I did the same with Marigold and Smoke. So I poured it all on the inside of the bowl and then I kind of dripped in some of the Marigold and blew on it. And then on the outside kind of poured it. Oop, that shit's still wet. I haven't talked. <laughs> <laughs> We fixed that. That'd be fine. We, that'd be fine. Do you guys want to give them a cute picture of a dog or cat for the Q skip card? Kitties! Oh, I was about to say cats. You guys want cats? Yeah. Okay, here's a picture of two cats on their heads so that you guys can be distracted while we put these in the kiln. <laughs> Okay, so look, 
I technically don't have the footage of me taking all the bowls out and reviewing them one by one as we usually do. All I have left is this really nice shot from a video that I did quite some time back. The real issue is that these lovely ladies came to pick up the bowls from the Empty Bowls Foundation the morning after I got them out of the kiln, and sadly enough, I had to still go to my 9 to 5 job. So I just didn't have time to record and show you guys everything. So unfortunately, I have to leave the video there, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. If you want to see us making those bowls that we glazed in this video, and you might even get to see some of them glazed over again, I will put the link down below for you because we technically already showed those bowls like 7 months ago before the great coronavirus swept our lands. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a good time. Hopefully you had a good time. Hey, if you liked it, leave a like down there. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Later.